Hello friends, your space version is back with an another video. Today's topic is lunar eclipse. Don't worry, don't worry, I am going to explain you. As you all know, this is our solar system. It consists of a star and eight other planets that revolve around it. Like everything is moving in space, earth revolves around the sun and the moon revolves around the earth. Likewise, all the other celestial bodies revolve around the sun. So friends, the moon also revolves around the earth and this cycle takes one full month. So this is how the process of revolution or and rotation of earth and moon around the sun takes place. Wait a minute, what is happening here? So guys, before we move further into the video, let me tell you something about the moon. So guys, you might have seen the moon in different shapes. Sometimes it is full, sometimes it is half or sometimes it is crescent. These are called the phases of the moon. The phases of the moon takes one month. But sometimes you might have noticed that this process happens in one hour. And this my dear friends is called a lunar eclipse. So friends back to the topic. So friends, in the process of rotation, what happens is the sun, earth and moon come in an alignment of straight line. So what happens here is, when the sunlight reaches the earth, the earth casts a shadow. And when the moon comes in that shadow, that's when the eclipse happens. As you can see, the earth shadow curve shape is falling on the moon. In the process, you might think that the earth's shadow might completely darken the moon. But that's not true, my friends. Let's see actually what happens. So what happens if the sun rays when it passes to the atmosphere, the white lights get distributed in seven different colors. Orange till violet have a short wavelengths, so they get scattered in the atmosphere. However, red has the longest wavelength and goes to the atmosphere and falls on the moon. So, in this case, it is called bloody moon. The fact is, lunar eclipse only takes place in the full moon day. Also, not the whole earth can see the eclipse. Only the side which is not facing the sun, means night time, can witness the eclipse. Also let me tell you the two shadows that occur in the lunar eclipse, Penumbra and Umbra. Umbra, it is the innermost and darkest part of the shadow, where the light source is completely blocked by the earth. And penumbra is the region which only a portion of the light source is obscured by the earth. So friends, that's all about the lunar eclipse this time. See you again. Hope you like my video. Thank you.